Hello, my name is Abby and welcome to another Skater Excel tutorial. Today we're going to be going over advanced ledge grinding. Uh, we're going to be going over uh, some more advanced approach stuff and compound grinds mostly. I'm going to try and keep this concise. I had another take of this that just tended to waffle a bit too much. Because uh, it's, it's a lot to explain, but it's very simple at the same time, if that makes sense. Uh, so let's talk about approach first. I've already explained that approach angle is really important, but equally important if you're flipping in is to pick a flip that works for your approach. Uh, here you might find that a normal uh, front side shove it there uh, is not going to work very well, but the same shove it uh, for Manali uh, works a lot better because the way the board rotates, it goes around the ledge. That's really what you want to focus on, going around the ledge. Uh, It'll let you get the, the trick a much closer to the ledge, and that means that you're going to have faster grinds, you're going to have uh, more technical grinds, and it's all around just gonna look more close, and that's gonna be impressive to people. People love it when there's near misses with the board, because it because it looks hard, even if it isn't. It's really just about picking the right thing for the both the grind you're landing in and for your approach. Um, so like a nolly tray might be better for a nose grind than a uh, than than a regular tray flip because you can sort of uh, get the 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 board over. If I try to do a regular tray flip, it's the same thing with the shove it. Well, that time I got enough height, but let's try like a like a mid pop one. You you, you just hit there where you as with a nolly you might be able to get over it. Um, and that also means that doing tricks that are very hard to get into at that angle is equally as impressive as getting one that hits very close. Uh, so if I if I do want to do uh, a normal tray flip into that, that looks harder because the board is just so opposite of where it's uh, approaching from. Uh, again, I'm waffling a little. Uh, now we're going to go over compound grinds. And by compound grinds, I mean uh, grinds that are... Grinds that include multiple board positions that don't use a center pop to reposition. Um, essentially, the way you do this is very simple. Uh, people love this. Like, it, it really it really gets people going because it looks very technical and it looks very hard, but it's really quite easy. All you need to do is, if you remember my uh, advanced movement tutorial, that. That's all you do. You just move your feet. Now, you can turn your shoulder in the same direction as well uh, to get a little bit more turn. Uh, but you can get it all in one very smooth motion like that, and people love it. It looks technical, it's fun to do, and it's just all around a great way to style out a grind that just feels a little stale. And really that's it. Ledges aren't that complicated. It's mostly about your approach angle, knowing your tricks, and maybe learning how to style things out. Uh, center pops are also very, very difficult. Uh, because I find the input difficult, it's a little brain fry. It's it's a lot of particularly quick ones uh, tends to fry your brain and your your hands just don't want to want to interact properly with with the, with the, with the ledge, uh, and you end up you end up not doing the input because your your brain just can't process all the motions. I recommend just sleeping on it. Um, practice it for a couple hours, then sleep on it. The way you form muscle memory is highly involved with sleep, so you're gonna find that. Sleeping makes all the world of difference. Yesterday I was struggling with double with uh, center pop grinds and today it's just it's so easy. Uh, that's really all the advice I have for you on ledges. Um, they're very unique to rails. You can do a lot of very fun slides with them, particularly uh, blunts and stuff look very good on ledges. Um, I don't really think I have anything else to say and I'm just waffling at this point. So this video is going to end and next time we're going to be going over rail grinding. 